Hi, this is Jyoti from BIMES. In this tutorial, I will explain you how you can show the casing details in the interactive schedules. Here you can see the jams, and this is how it should look in 1 is to 50 scale, and in 1 is to 100 scale, this is how it will be shown, and in 1 is to 200, this is how we want. The thing is, I have created three interactive schedules with 1 is to 50 scale, 1 is to 100 and 1 is to 200. If I change the scale of the interactive schedule to 1 is to 50 or even higher, this is the maximum detail it will show by default in the interactive schedules. For example, this door is having the casings but we couldn't see that in the interactive schedule. Now the tutorial will, in this tutorial I will explain you how you can modify uh, the scripts in ArchiCAD default library to show you the casing in the interactive schedule and 1 is to 50 scale. This tip I got from the ArchiCAD talk and now I just converted this as a video so it would be easy for every user to know and how to customize these things. Right and let's see the example now here I took a simple door as we all know that this is the 1 is to 100 scale where we will not see the complete detail about the door. Here you can see in 1 is to 50 you will see the full detail with casing but if you check the interactive schedule you will not see the casing over here. Right. So now let's see how we can modify this it's very simple. So first go to the floor plan. The thing is we need to do some modification in the script so I'm going to extract the default library of ArchiCAD and do some scripting in that modification and then we'll save back that as the original library so first thing we go to libraries and object library manager here we are going to extract the container as you know at ArchiCAD 16 default library is a LCF file so we cannot modify so first thing is to extract that as a container so I'm going to choose applications Graphisoft, ArchiCAD 16, ArchiCAD library 16 and this is the LCF file which is a default library which I am going to extract. So I say open. Now select the folder to extract. So I want to extract in the desktop. So I choose the desktop and then say choose and this will extract all the contents to the library to the desktop. So if I go to the desktop, you will see over here it is extracted. Now what we need to do is modify an object in this. So let's see how we can do that. Now going to ArchiCAD. Now I go to File, Libraries and Object and then Open Object. And here let's say Browse for a Folder browse and then in the desktop we have this extracted library and then we need to go to object library then we need to select the macros folder over here and then base macros in this you will find wall hole framing if it is modified based on it will be listed alphabetically over here so this is the one you, you need to modify wall hole framing select this and then open right now you have opened this now you need to click on the master script so you will see all the details about the master script and the modification which we need to do is over here if you scroll down you can see a portion called interactive schedule and listing related display options so the scripting is very simple all we need to do is add the exclamatory symbol for all these items which is below this one right so I'm adding the exclamatory symbol 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one. That's it. Now, okay, if you click on the close button, it will ask you to save the project, save the library path, and then click save, and then click save. That's it, we're finished. Now, we need to create or pack this as a LCF file and modify the default ArchiCAD 16 library with the new one. So before we do that, let's take a backup. So, uh, so here I say that modified library as standard library and I go to the applications, Graphisoft, ArchiCAD 16 and copy this just a default one and I'm having going to have as a standard over here so just in case if when something goes wrong you can replace your LCF file with this original LCF and now this LIB I'm going to compress it and give the same name as ArchiCAD library 16 and will replace the original library with this modified one again I'm going to ArchiCAD it's very simple like the way we do the extract now I'm going to libraries and object and then create container and now this will ask you the local libraries so what we need to do is remove the ArchiCAD 16 library and load the, the modified library folder so file libraries and object in the library manager you can see we are having by default ArchiCAD 16 library so we need to remove this and then link library and then now choose this because to create a container file you need the library to be loaded to the project now let's say ok you will get some message like missing library parts you no need to worry about it because these are the images which is missing which will be you will get it when you are loading the full library now libraries and object create container now you will see this library and then create now we need to give the file name so I go to this <coughs> I'm taking the same name but I'm saving under modified library so now I have the backup which is the standard one over here and this is my modified one and then save <coughs> let's check it's close now let's replace the library so going over here now modified library I copy this LCF file go to ArchiCAD which is the standard location and then paste so now it will ask you to replace Just say replace and now going to ArchiCAD back now we will remove all the libraries and reload the library completely so <coughs> sorry now going to libraries and object library manager just remove this and in ArchiCAD 16 you can choose from here the recently loaded library so let's say we need ArchiCAD 16 library refresh the status reload now you can see all the missing things has been gone now let's say ok now Let's close the project and open it again just as a refresh and now if I go to the interactive schedule and check this 1 is to 50 you will see the casing details in this and if I go to 1 is to 100 this is the default one which is scale sensitive so it will automatically adjust according to the scales but the main thing is this where you can see the jams or the casings in the interactive schedule for all the doors 
since we modified the basic library and updated with the modified one now all the projects you are going to start with by default will have this listed properly in the interactive schedule i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you